Hey guys, Lucky here, uh, and today I'm gonna go over the Dual Enchant Multi-Shot Sorceress build. Uh, there's been a lot of talk this season about what Multi-Shot Amazon build is the best, Bereza or Windforce, and I'm here today to show you another option. And that is the Widowmaker on a Sorceress using Dual Enchants both Fire and Cold. Uh, I'd be remiss to talk about a multi-shot sorceress and not mention my boy BK. Uh, he plays a multi-shot sorceress. I've seen him play one every season uh, for like the last three or four seasons and they absolutely shred. Uh, and then uh, Pete from Discord reached out and offered to uh, let me hold his gear to do a video. So this is Pete's gear and uh, I just wanted to show you guys what a dual enchant multi sorceress is capable of so uh, we'll go over the gear first and uh, obviously the bread and butter of this build and the item required to make it is the Widowmaker and this is a skill that has this is a an item that has the multi shot skill on it so really any class uh, can use this bow and get multi shot uh, by using it. This is a 5-5 five, five Widowmaker and socketed for 5 sockets and you see we have 5 shells in here. Uh, the shells are important because really we want to be hitting our IAS breakpoints. Uh, that's the most important part of this build. We're not really doing a ton of physical damage because most of the damage is coming from, as you'll see, the fire and cold enchantments uh, the the objective here is to hit as high of a breakpoint as we can and for for this build particularly we're going for that 102 IAS breakpoint that you see on the screen here uh, the next breakpoint will be 174 but it's just too much of a trade-off really um, in my mind uh, in order to get there so we're going for the 102 and you'll see that uh, with the five shells, we've got 100 IAS just right off the bat. And then we've got the Andes with plus three skills. Uh, Magnus skin gloves with additional pierce. And you'll see why the pierce is important in a bit. Uh, Life leech slam on a BK ring. Razor tail with an extra pierce slam. Three all skills, Arcane's Valor. Mana Leech, SOJ, CBF, Treads of Katan, another Pierce item there, and a plus three Maris on swap. We have our CTA Lidless, inventory full of Fire Grand Charms, uh, and then you make up your res in the Small Charms, Annihilus and Torch. Uh, the reason that we're looking for Pierce on a lot of these items is that a Sorceress does not have any natural passive ability to get Pierce. But Pierce is very important for this build. Uh, it's going to really give us a huge additional output to our damage. So with these pieces, we're able to achieve that 100% Pierce chance, which is huge for the build. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, the other gear that I want to go over is just some of the pre-buff gear. Pre-buffing is your thing. Uh, you can choose to do as much or as little pre-buff as you'd like but obviously the more the better if you want to improve your clear speeds and and really uh it, it is worth it if you're going to be doing a decently long map and uh, especially so if you have a group because remember when you're enchanting if you're playing in a player's eight group you can enchant everyone in your group uh to do that additional damage if you're playing with other bosons or any sort of uh, physical damage dealer, uh, the enchant is going to be a huge increase to their damage. Um, so here is the pre-buff gear. We have Mage Fists, uh, Medusas and Death Fathom, that's for our cold enchant. Uh, the Mang Songs here, uh, that's going to be <clears throat> for the fire enchant. Nightwing for the cold enchant, Snow Clash for cold. Then the Iraq will do for our fire enchant. Our mercenary is running. It's just a standard infinity mercenary. has CBF, uh, some stack res, Drax, and let's go over just like the pre-buff. So 
Start off with the Vio. Like I said, you guys can do as much or as little pre buff as you'd like. So we just did our cold enchant, which is going to add around 2,000 damage. And then... Oh, sorry. That's my mistake. We actually need to bring our cold skillers in, so we have an inventory full of cold skillers as well for when we do that cold enchant. Give me on that, guys. Okay. So you'll see that added an additional thousand damage. So remember, you only have to do this once per game uh, because it lasts a really long time. Okay. Now we'll do our fire. See, our fire is an additional seven to eight thousand and will last for just as long as the cold. And this is going to be casted on our mercenary and ourselves as well. And if you were in a party, you would do this to your whole party. Then we're going to swap right back to the gear that we were using originally. And we'll check out our damage. So our multi-shot damage is a cool 27 to 30k, uh, and that is uh, both fire and cold damage that that's dealing there. Um, my, just for reference, my uh, Amazon that we just hit level 99 on and has all of the top damage gear uh, is only doing around 16,000 on the top end. Uh, and actually, the, the minimum damage is quite low. It's it's under 2,000. So this is a really nice, consistent number. And uh, we can run a, uh, a map with it. So I have a cow map here. Kind of see what they look like. So from start to finish. Another thing I just want to show is exactly just how much damage our mercenary is doing. Uh, our mercenary is doing 12,000 to 15,000 damage uh, now with his dual enchants uh, and so you can use that as a reference for just how much damage you would be doing 
uh, in a game where you're enchanting your party and how much damage that they'll all be doing. So it's quite significant. So we're good to go now. You just want to always make sure you're swapping back. You have your 100% pierce. And the thing that I like about this build compared to a normal Boazon is teleport. And all the mobility that this has. I mean, just look at this. Look at this clear speed for cows. I mean, you're, you're basically just one-shotting everything. Uh, and this was a pretty juiced map. You see with the 100% pierce it goes through everything. You have the infinity that are lowering the res. We have a little bit of sustain on our ring, so we have the life and mana leech. Uh, what's great about this is it's so important for a multi-shot character to have positioning. And with the teleport skill, it's so easy to just reposition and uh, get your multi-shots off and just take down you know, huge groups of cows. Look at that. A little ohm room treat for us, for our video. Uh, another thing I like about this build is that it is multi, uh, it's, it's hybrid damage. So you have fire and coal damage that are going. Um, and I mean, just look at this clear speed. Like this was a, an absolutely juiced map <laughs> and the cows are going down like nothing. Uh, for the bosses, you have guided arrow as well. So uh, once we get to the boss, I can show you what that looks like. Um, it's also a relatively safe build. You see, I'm teleporting into the middle of packs, but you do not have to be as reckless as that when you're playing on it. Um, you can maintain a safe distance and uh, fire your multi shots from there, and you don't really have to worry about getting hit much. Similarly to how a multi shot Amazon would function, you really don't have to be too close to the action. Uh, and again, like I said before, this character is absolutely great for group maps uh, because you can enchant your whole team and so picture a multi-shot Boazon that is uh, enchanted with those additional cold and fire damages and the ability that that they have to just spread out this huge amount of damage uh, they can also be synergized with a uh, Dragon did to get even more damage on that fire enchant. So it's really nice and really easy to get around maps with the teleport skill. And here we'll do guided arrow on the boss. get a sense for the single target damage and there we go took them down very appropriately named the Widowmaker super quick to get back into the map to where you left off uh, really nice for magic findings. You end up getting a decent frame on the teleport skill and really just having the ability to have a multi-shot character that's doing this kind of damage uh, <clears throat> with a teleport skill is huge. So a quick making quick work of, of this cow map here um, 
the amount of physical damage that you're dealing on this character is not a huge amount. Uh, so if you do want some sort of life sustain, it's important to get the this high amounts of leech, both mana and life leech, on your gear as possible. And you'll see that um, even with the low amount of physical damage, we're still getting a decent amount of sustain to the point where we don't really need to use mana potions, we don't need to use health potions, unless we really get ourselves in a bind um, in order to to not die. But yeah, when you come into counter with like fire and cold immunes, you can let, just let your mercenary take care of them. Since they're running in infinity, they do decent damage. Uh, throw a fort on them to do some additional physical damage. Especially if you like cows, the fort's going to be great. Uh, but just a great, really hybrid character that can, can clear most map content with, uh, with general ease here. Uh, it's got great clear speeds. I think if you're comparing it to a traditional physical multi-shot Boazon, it would probably clear a bit faster on most maps. So um, just with the mobility aspect of the Sorceress. Uh, but it really depends on you know which maps we're talking about here. Uh, you don't have to worry about things like physical immune maps when you're playing the multi-shot Sork, and um, I think really the, the damage speaks for itself here. So it ends up being a pretty quick clear for cows, I'd say. Not many characters are going to clear a cow map as quickly, uh, maybe a Poison Nova uh, Necromancer or a Frost Nova Sorceress, but uh, those characters, uh, you have to really be in the middle of the packs in order to deal all your damage. I like the safety of the bow sork, especially if you're playing something like hardcore. Um, you don't have block, but as long as you're not teleporting into the middle of packs, you really shouldn't be getting hit by any of the cows. Cows are very predictable AI, and you can't shouldn't really be getting hit from them unless unless you try. So, uh, really safe for clearing cow maps. Really good AoE with the multi-shot skill. Remember we had the 100% pierce and we're just doing crazy amounts of fire and cold damage here. Positioning is an absolute breeze with the teleport skill and then oh yeah can't forget we also have you know telekinesis which is a great skill to have for magic finders. Pop all those chests get in and out of waypoints really quick. You know you have all the benefits of a sorceress and the and the great clear speed of a multi-shot character. Uh, so really the best of both worlds. And I realize it may not be everyone's cup of tea with the with the pre-buffs, but like you saw, saw here, uh, this is a pretty big cow map, and we have our pre-buff la lasting basically the whole map. So there's not you don't have to do it multiple times. You really just do it at the start of the map. Even if you're playing in a group, you won't have to redo it until the map is over. You do it one time per game, and uh, and then this is the result. If you get quick with it, you can do it in seconds with pre -ball. So guys, I hope you like this gameplay footage. Um, I thought the multi-shot sorceress was a really cool character to try out. I was having a lot of fun with her. Um, if it's something that interests you and you have any questions on it, feel free to ask it in the comments. 
uh, either I or someone that is more familiar with it will uh, answer all those questions for you, but um, in the meantime, I will try to be coming out with a couple more cool, interesting builds that we've discovered in uh, Season 2, as well as um, we have some videos coming out for our dueling tournaments that went on. Uh, so just again, thank you guys all for the support. Uh, I hope you like this character build, and um, I think definitely gives the Windforce and Bereza build a run for their money. So uh, that's it guys, I'll see you next time. Hope you liked it.